What's your worst experience with a rude and entitled middle-aged woman? In college, my best friend and I had a summer job cutting trees, and one morning he accidentally sliced into a seam between his protective pant covering and his belt. The red started spraying immediately and everyone stopped. He started becoming weak and his legs started giving out, and while the other team members started stabilized him, I ran to get my car. While trying to control the red absolutely oozing out of him, we loaded him into the back seat and I started driving as fast as possible towards the nearest hospital hospital, which was 30 miles away. About six miles in, we got cell coverage and arranged a place to meet the nearest ambulance. We were having trouble controlling the bleeding, and I knew we didn't have much time. While most people saw me speeding like a madman and moved out of the way, about 15 miles in, we came across a white Nissan Altima and a Subaru Forester. The owner of the Nissan, a middle-aged woman with a pixie cut, blocked us off from driving past her by driving completely in line with the Subaru. She did everything she could to ensure I didn't over take her, even slowing down way beyond the speed limit to ensure this. We were stuck for a solid 10 minutes, and it wasn't until we got to the next exit ramp that I was able to pass on the inside and get by. One of the guys actually threw his red-covered t-shirt out the window as we passed and hung out to give that Karen a wave. He, like all of us, was covered in blood. The t-shirt landed midway up the hood of the Nissan, leaving a streak as it slid up and over the windshield. Five miles until the hospital, we were joined by a state trooper who matched our speed and helped clear the way to the ambulance, waiting a further two miles down the road. By that point, the bleeding had slowed, and my friend had a very weak pulse. The ambulance crew was ready and waiting, and transferred him within seconds of our arrival. I jumped into the ambulance, and we all took off. While I was in the ambulance, my friends were at the side of the road explaining the situation to a police officer when the Nissan from earlier showed up. She stopped what she was doing, got out of the car, and approached the officer from an angle that she couldn't see the blood-soaked guys. She was shouting about dangerous driving. The officer immediately brought her around to look at the inside of my car, which was soaked in red, and then pointed to the other two guys who were covered in red from head to toe. She freaked out right away, yelling at the officer that she was squeamish and that she didn't want to look at that disgusting mess. The officer disregarded her and explained that there was a medical emergency, then asked her if what we had said about her impeding the flow of traffic was correct. He cited her for a number of things, including unnecessarily slow driving and dangerous driving. I wish this story had a happy ending where she got arrested and my friend is here with me to tell the tale, but it doesn't. He never made it. My best friend passed away just a half a mile from the hospital, and no matter how much I begged him to stay with me, he just couldn't. If you see someone frantically driving down the highway like a madman, let them pass. It could save a life.